Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Maya Al Said. Welcome to my channel, The Sewist. So, today I would like to talk about not taking each other for granted. I think this can be applied in all relationships, but specifically for married couples, um, for spouses. I hear a lot of complaints from people online and offline about how marriage isn't they're not happy in their marriage because of their spouse did this did that and i thought i'd like to talk about this um, as part of my work well through my eyes series marriage is one of those relationships that you have to work at every single day because you're bringing two different people two different personalities two different genders and making them live together um, of course it's not as easy as it sounds now, does it? And although it has its difficulties, it is one of the most beautiful relationships that you'll ever have. I posted uh, a video quite a few years back on 10 things you should know about marriage, which I'll link somewhere here for you to have a look at. Um, that got a lot of positive feedback, and which is why I enjoy doing topics on marriage and uh, relationships. Um, in general so one of the things that I think we should really take into consideration is that yes I know marriage is difficult and sometimes spouses don't act as we want them to or they do things that are you're not happy with but you have to realize before you actually judge that person you have to look at your actions how are you towards that person maybe the reason your spouse is acting in a certain way is because of the way you speak to them or the way you project yourself onto them um, by your words, by your actions. It could be your doing that's giving you this negative or you know this behavior that you don't like. So an exercise I think a spouse should do if they're faced in this situation is that monitor yourself, your behavior, how you are with your spouse. So don't change it just on a daily basis. Just be aware of how you speak to your husband or your wife. And at the end of the day, sit back and reflect and see how you spoke to them and how in turn did they speak to you. And then if there's something that you can change within yourself to be better, then I think it, you should do that. And then see how, how the reaction is then after you've done these changes on yourself. And now I'm not saying everything that happens um, that you don't like is your your doing what I'm saying is make sure before you actually talk to him about it and let him know that you're not happy with this that it's nothing to do with you it's not your fault that he is like that in the sense that if you speak to him really disrespectfully and he just fires back at you or doesn't talk to you or doesn't want to sit with you then you have to know that because of you being so disrespectful disrespectful to him he doesn't want to be for example he doesn't want to talk to you he doesn't want to be with you so just be aware of your actions that's one thing second thing is treat people the way you want to be treated if you don't want to be treated in a certain way or if you don't like it then don't go being exactly that person towards your spouse Similar to the first point I shared, I'm just wording it differently. Um, another thing that you should keep in mind is that at the beginning of every relationship, there's a spark. And that spark is because you guys are not together and you're constantly on each other's mind and you want to be together. And you do things to remind that person that you are thinking of them, that you love them. And once you get into you're married of course then the magic happens you are together and you're living kind of what you've been dreaming about all this time and then with time you've been married two three years and you find that spark it's like life now and it's really not what it used to be so the challenge here is to keep that spark going and it's not always easy but it is doable it has as I said it has to it has a lot of you need to put in a lot of effort which is why I said marriage is something you have to work at every day simple things you can do is 
text each other when you're not together not text each other saying where are you when are you coming home what time are you going to be here text each other saying i'm thinking about you i hope you're doing well um i miss you the things that you would have said to each other probably before you were actually living together as in husband and wife and just to know that you are on another person's mind and just for the fact that you are, you are who you are and they love you for who you are it's just a beautiful feeling to have and to come back to that knowing that this person has missed you during your course of every day now it's not something you should do every day because it has to be something you really feel um, build that anticipation of wanting to be with your spouse at the end of your day um, and not just to bring something or to pay the bills or whatever it is just for who they are just so they feel that they are loved and cared for so these little things um, schedule date nights surprise each other um, love each other that's really it you just have to love each other every single day and show that person that you love them number I don't think there are any numbers anymore I'm just talking randomly as well as to know that whatever I'm sharing with you is I've not studied anything I am in no way an expert in relationships it's just my my views and my thoughts on this also remember that you are blessed to have somebody with you even if you're not 100% happy with that particular person remember that at some point in time you did make the choice to be with this person and nobody's perfect we do not get perfection in this life that is safe for the afterlife so you are not perfect and neither is your spouse so you have to live with your imperfections and love each other for your imperfections because that's who you have and that's who you've decided to spend the rest of your life with so don't take each other for granted some people would love to get married but haven't had the chance or haven't had that haven't met the person to marry some people were married and are longer married some people want to get married but can't get married so be thankful for who you have be thankful for who you are you have a beautiful relationship and it is one desired by many so be thankful for each other so I hope by the end of this video you have you've come to realize that you're blessed you've come to realize that you're loved you've come to realize that nobody's perfect that means including you so don't expect perfection when you're not perfect I ask one thing before I end this video after you've finished watching this video do a loving gesture to any of your spouse do something that will let them know that you love them um, and I can't tell you what that thing is because you are the only one who knows how your spouse wants to be loved or how your spouse feels loved so I please ask you to do that for me and I hope you have many years of filled with happiness love and gratitude towards each other thank you so much for watching this video Masala.